Now, the moment you've all been waiting for this morning, ding dong, it's round two in our big build-up to the huge heavyweight fight in Germany this July. Uh, earlier this week, of course, the IBF and WBO champion Vladimir Klitschko was here on the sofa making lots of friends, kissing Sean, wooing the team with his charm. Now, in the red corner, it's the turn of the one and only, the WBA champion, David Hay. Hey. Thanks very much to Britain's David Hay, of course, yeah. as well, isn't it? David, we're a little bit worried because in the past, you know, you've depicted opponents as a smelly beast, you know, mm -hmm. Valley Wave, and we could see that, but here you've got this gentleman, but you wouldn't even shake his hand, you wouldn't sit in the same room as him. Well, nope. What's wrong with him? He's a gentleman, he was lovely. I've got to get in the ring with this guy on uh, July 2nd, and, uh, and I've got, I, need, I need to be as ferocious as humanly possible. As you saw, the guy is huge, he's six foot seven, you know, he's only three stone bigger than myself, and my tactics need to be all out aggression. I've got no time to be friends with him, I've got no time to, you know, uh, have a charm competition. We're not going out there to have a pillow fight. We're going out there to have a real, real war. And this guy's, you know, knocked out you know, 90 odd percent of his opponents. He's a, he's a big guy, dangerous guy. And he's saying he's going to make me number 50, 50, does, 50 yeah. knockouts. I can't allow that to happen. But he's a very intelligent man. Isn't he going to mm. see you through all this hype? Because as I say, he's got this PhD. Mm. He's very clever. He wants to be your friend, he says. And he yet does. you've got a t-shirt yeah. with, in the past, he slaying the heads off him and his brother. I've, I've seen him do that in the past. He's tried to come with that charm offensive, all his opponents, make them feel comfortable. Because as soon as that first bell rings, he runs across the a ring, being so as big as he is, he grabs hold of me, leans on me, he sort of half breaks the rules to, to win the fight. So I'm not falling for any of that stuff. I'm not shaking his hand. I'm not <laughs> being kind to All I'm doing is focusing on my training and making sure that you know, Britain has all the heavyweight titles. You know, no way am I going to leave my uh, heavyweight championship in Germany. No way. So you're not going to turn on the charm. You're not going to kiss Susanna or Charlie. I'll, I'll, I'll give her a nice kiss if she wants. If, if, they, if, they, if, they, if that's what I'm she needs. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> so do you think? I mean, because he was very delightful here. Mm -hmm. Sound the for being. Uh, do you think he, this is part of the act? This is, is all. This is, this part, is part of the, is the, the his way of building up to the fight. It is. He 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 tries to lull everybody into a, a full sense of security, particularly his opponents. I've seen how he does it in the past. And uh, they feel very comfortable around him. He spends loads of time with him, plays little jokes with him, tricks with him. And I'm sitting here, why are these guys entertaining this guy? They're going to have to try to, to beat this guy. You have to be aggressive. The only two guys who have managed to knock him out effectively have been guys who weren't interested in being his friend, weren't trying to touch his gloves, be friendly. They just went across the ring and steamed, steamed so into him. Because he doesn't, he doesn't like aggression. He doesn't like people attacking him. If you watch his style, he just likes to keep it long because his arms are longer than everyone else's, so he wants to keep it at arm's length. I don't want to be there. What proportion of it is psychological then? Because oh, you're saying it's part. massive. It's a massive part, without a doubt. You know, I, I could lose an edge by being friendly with him. I could lose my hunger. I've got loads of pictures around. It's not like I want to be around him. I've got loads of pictures all over my gym of this guy. So when I'm in the gym, I've big pictures of him looking, looking big and looking scary because that's what I want to see. Yesterday I was, I was on the, the VersaClimb machine and I broke all my all records just because there was a poster of him and knowing that this guy's going to come across the ring and try and attack me and try and knock me out, try and ruin my career. That's it is harder, isn't it? To hate someone and get that aggression when he's so nice. <laughs> that's why I don't want to have no part, that's why I don't have no part of it. I'll let, let, him, let him do all that stuff, you know, let him try and, he keeps putting his hand out to sh shake my hand. I'm not interested in it, I'll say, I'll shake your hand before, in the rules, you have to touch gloves before, in the, when you come to the centre ring before we yeah. fight each other. That's what I said, that's when I'll, that's when I'll shake it, I'm not no interested. Outside of, uh, outside of that uh, arrangement while we're in the ring. So uh, you do your training, I'll do my training, and, and we're going to get it on and see who truly is the best heavyweight on the planet. Now, none of us have, have stood in a ring and know yeah. what that, no, have any idea what goes on. But that moment, mm -hmm. and in this case, you haven't sort of laid eyes on one another. Yeah. You come face to face, mm -hmm. that eyeball to eyeball. I mean, you had the, you had the way in, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there a moment when, as a boxer, I know you talk obviously with other boxers, can you know, do you know instinctively, just by looking in someone's eyes, which way the fight's going to go? Um, I have done it in the past. Yeah, I did it with uh, my last fight. I could tell. I could tell. I looked in his eyes. I could, I could, I could hear his heartbeat. And you know, I could see him swallowing. Um, this time, I looked into. I've done it on two, two or three occasions over the last couple of weeks, and he, he's not fight, He's not phased one bit. He, de he genuinely thinks I'm just an irritating little man who happens to have the title and he's just going to swap me across. It's all relative, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Little. I, I, I can see that, but that, that, I, I expect that. He's had such a long campaign as, as the champion that I can see that he, he's not phased by me. It is great entertainment, but in the past you said you'd retire this October. Yeah. So whichever way this goes, will we see you in the ring again? So, well, you, if, if you beat him, could you then take on his brother? When I beat him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when I beat him, that would definitely be, definitely be a task for me to, to beat his brother as well. But all I'm doing is, is focusing everything on Vladimir Klitschko. You know, I've, I've had big challenges in the past. You know, I fought the Nikolai Valley of yeah. 7 foot 2, 24 stone. I've beat the big guys before. Guys that he's avoided in his career. People forget that. He's got a lot of the titles, but the title that I have, he could have fought for over the last five or six years. But the two guys who had it for most of the time, John Ruiz and Nikolai Valley of the, the, the massive guy, two guys mm -hmm. who I've beat conclusively, 
he's, he's avoided. So he's picked and choose his opponents, very small, fat guys over the hill, you know, guys who just turn up for a paycheck. He's had these fights. And um, now he's finally fighting someone who's a former undisputed cruiserweight champion and a current heavyweight champion. So he's out, he's out of his comfort zone big time. Brilliant, David. Thanks very much indeed. Anytime. Best of luck in the next month as you get ready. Yep. Perhaps you could take on both the Klitschko brothers eventually. <laughs> Together. That's, that's the plan. The same time. We'll give it a hand, <laughs> wouldn't we? <laughs> David, thank you very much for coming in. Lovely to see you. Oh, you nice too. to see you. Thank you very much indeed.